What's up guys, Jay, more than kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and last night I put up a video talking about the brand new announcement that Gearbox and Telltale Games have said that they are going to be working together for a game coming out in 2014 called Tales from the Borderlands, and a lot of people were a little bit confused by what I said on my video last night, and I don't know why you were confused because I went back and watched that video. Even though I had a few beers in me, I thought I explained it pretty well. But since there was a lot of confusion in the comments, I'm going to clear them up and tell you exactly how this mashup is pretty much going to work. Now, there might be a few things that are going to be a little bit different inside this game, but we don't know a lot of information. But what we do know is that this is going to be a telltale game. So, it's going to have their unique style of bringing you an interactive storybook, and it's not going to be a first-person loot and shoot for those of you guys that did get your hopes up. Most likely that this, this mashup is going to have more in common with Telltale Games, other games like The Wolf Among Us, which just came out, and also they have uh, The Walking Dead, which was Game of the Year, and we'll talk about that in just a few seconds, but it's going to be basically a Telltale game within the Borderlands universe. So other than the story, the universe, and the characters, it's going to be 100% a Telltale game with the Borderlands license. So basically, these games are like playing an interactive comic book. So it's basically a story narrative, and it moves you along. And as it moves you along, it gives you narrative or action choices, and you can choose how the adventure pans out for you based on the action points that you've chosen within the game. So basically, there's going to be a lot of dialogue, choosing of dialogue, and maybe some real-time, quick-time events for narrative action sequences or fight. We don't know because this is actually the first time that they're bringing such an action-packed franchise into a, a Telltale game. So it's going to be interesting to see how they actually pull this off. But I do want to say that Gearbox is not developing this title, so don't worry about Gearbox not working on DLC or Borderlands 3. They are not working on this project. What they're most likely going to be doing is overseeing the story, the narrative, all the art. And then, uh, you know, they want to make sure that it coincides with the Borderlands franchise that they've already built. And they want to protect that franchise license. But they also want to give, you know, their creative freedom to still bring a game that's true to the Telltale signature style of how they uh, give you a you know, basically a moving book. <laughs> it's, a, it's a moving book. So uh, it's going to be interesting, though, to see how this works out for not only fans of both sides of the franchises, but, you know, the video game industry in general, you know, because you don't see a lot of unlikely mashups of games from different developers and different genres. So this could actually be a really good thing because, remember, both of these games, in the same year, in the same year, mind you, were up for Game of the Year awards for Borderlands 2 and also The Walking Dead. So this could possibly become popular enough that you might see other types of Borderlands franchise spinoffs or you might see other you know, franchises willing to spin off and work with other directors to bring you your favorite video game franchises in ways that you've never seen them before while they're still working on sequels. So, you know, imagine having an Assassin's Creed that was, you know, first person. Who knows, you know? It's actually really interesting to see how this is going to work out for the video game industry because I remember, like, you know, there was all types of mashups back in the day. They had, like, you know, the Marvel vs. Capcom and shit like that. You don't see that very often anymore. So, uh, you know, usually I don't put a lot of stock into rumors or, you know, thinking about things could change. But this is, uh, you know, it's an unlikely parent that looks like, you know, this could possibly be a really big title. Especially, like I said, they were both Game of the Year award candidates. And you know, I don't usually put most, you know, any stock into the video game awards and the press and all that. You guys know that. But, you know, judging based on sales alone of both Borderlands 2 and The Walking Dead, I mean, <laughs> it's it can only be a good thing. It can only be a good thing so far. And, I mean... Everybody said Borderlands has been has been lacking the narrative, has been lacking the dialogue. So, I mean, this could possibly also lead towards Telltale 
being brought into the Borderlands franchise, and maybe, you know, in the future, Borderlands 3, something like that, helping out with some dialogue, some narrative, getting the story in there, twisting it and weaving it for you guys with plot twists and spoilers and surprises. <laughs> imagine, imagine Borderlands with, like, a story as epic as, like, fucking, like, all the Uncharted games or fucking, I don't know, there's a lot of games out there with some really epic storylines. I know a lot of people like Sky, right? I didn't like Sky. I don't, I don't want to sit through a 40 goddamn minute fucking goddamn cutscene to get into my game. But that is not the topic of the motherfucking commentary. What we're talking about is Borderlands and uh, Telltale Games are making a game called, you know, Tales from the Borderlands. And... You know, it's not technically a Borderlands game because of how it's going to be delivered and the gameplay that's going to be 100% different than what the Borderlands franchise is, uh, you know, used to. But it's still a Borderlands game. It's still within the franchise. It's still carrying all the story and possible, you know, things that could go wrong with uh, having Handsome Jack in your story. <laughs> so, I mean, it. who knows? Maybe... Maybe this could lead the way for Mr. Torg blows up the motherfucking ocean! I want that. Imagine that. Imagine seeing Mr. Torg blows up the ocean. That would be amazing. It would be like a third person action beat em up like God of War. That's right, Gearbox, hire me! Hire me, man! Make you so much money. <laughs> Who doesn't want to beat shit up as Mr. Torg with explosive fists? That would be fucking awesome like dude you could even give him like an elbow drop and like fucking let him jump off shit there's so much shit you can do with Torg. i mean seriously what the fuck <laughs> so my name is jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment subscribe i want to thank you guys for watching if you could leave a thumbs up on the video i would highly appreciate it because it gives you motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking video i just wanted to give you guys a little bit more in-depth and sober kind of well, Kind of sober. <laughs> it's a, you know, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, I, I think I think this could be a good thing for Borderlands, and it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting at least. And I mean, you know, who knows? It it could lead to other cool things. So, like I said, my name's Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.